<laughs> that is a little bit tall, isn't it? I quite like it like that. There we go. We are back. <laughs> Do you know what? Like, no, actually, I'll keep it on because it is Jaunty. festive, isn't it? Jaunty. Actually, would it work if I stick it up on a joint? Hey, <laughs> joint. Yeah. Oh, Jaunty. Jaunty. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, we start it all goes wrong. Right. You're going to have to dress me so you need to finish that. <laughs> oh, look. Em, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a second piece. And we are, Basil, we are halfway through the run now, 42 oh, shows in. Halfway. Now, Kevin Cruz has very kindly asked me to do a very short little bit of a diary takeover. So we are now halfway through the run. 42 shows completed, another 42 to go. Let's go and say hello to a few people. So we're on the stage, backstage. You can hear the audience, everyone's here. This <laughs> is our wonderful understudy for the lovely Anita. How's it going? Good, good. Bit scary, but I'm really enjoying it now. A fabulous, glamorous <laughs> carabos. There's Mark, but enough about him. Oh. <laughs> Elliot's warming up. <laughs> This is the bits you don't see. <laughs> Here's Will. And you have your big miss. Will's very busy. I'm not. He just talks to himself, really. I'm trying to be important. I'm trying to be yeah. important. Mm. He's, he's the busy one. Dan's busy. busy on his phone. Very busy. See, you're all sat in your seats waiting look for Panto to start. Road. This is what happens behind the scene. She's taking her throne. Oh, you look very regal. And for those of you that watch the panto, here's a little secret tip. This is how she spins. <laughs> well, I don't think there's much magic in that, Marv. He whips her around. Oh, here we go. Is this the demo? Ready? Oh, look at that. I'm going to show you our pre show ritual. Oh, yeah, go for it. This is a very serious one, Kevin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Every show. Thank you. What even is that? Yeah. That's, that's how we get ready. Professionals. <laughs> Have a great show, everyone. Enjoy. Show's about to start. Gotta go. Right. I was meant to be ready for the show, but now I found this one. Yeah, well, we're both meant to be ready for the show. And in fact, our queue is nearly coming up. Hello, Merry Christmas to you all. I uh, hope you're all well. He's just done a great big walk today, so um, he's all I've done a walk. Fresh. And we are, Basil, we are halfway through the run now. 42 oh, shows halfway in. Halfway through. You mean we've got to do it all again? Another 42 to go. Oh, no. 42 to go. I know. We are. Does it oh, feel no. halfway through? It feels more than halfway through. Mm. I'm exhausted. Yeah. I've got to say. Bless we you. are all right, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're feeling cooking right. our gas, as we say in Somerset. I'm just listening. Just listening. No, we're all right. No, we've got to get him. We're started. Come on. How's our week been, guys? Fabulous. It's been, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been, mm -hmm. yeah. Another week of panto, and it's been all right, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've got through it, basically. Yeah. Thank you for all your lovely comments on last week's video. We had a laugh, didn't oh, we? We did. <laughs> we did, sure. We, we really appreciate your comments. However, though, Annie's not happy. Because look at the door, we've been sent nothing. We've, no. had, we've got nothing for our end of party party. No. We've got no decorations no. on our door. I think the postal strike means postal that they've strike. got sacks of stuff yeah. for us. It's and it's right. just not here. It must be that, right? Yeah. 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 I'll keep telling myself that. <laughs> so as always, we've got all our lovely little treats. But do you know what we're going to do now? Wow. Well, I gave my camera to David, who's playing our prince. Oh, oh He's playing oh. Prince Edgar. So he's got my camera and he's going to do a little, what do you call it, like a takeover? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's going to take over the Panto Diaries. Over to David. Hi everybody, my name is David Luke and I play the Prince in this year's Panto at Theatre Royal Windsor. Sleeping Beauty. Now Kevin Cruz has very kindly asked me to do a very short little bit of a diary takeover whilst the show goes on just so I can show you what I get up to. And I thought I'd start by just showing you around my dressing room. So here's how we hear what's going on. Look at the timing of that, he's just going wrong. The crowd go wild. It says there, if you turn the volume down, you're not here calls. Well, that's true, but we're gonna turn it down just for a minute so I can show you about. Here is my dressing room. We've got vocal zones, tees, that's nice. Keep the voice going. Alpen, 
other cereals are available. There's all my food in there as well. Look how healthy I'm being, kind of. So what else have we got? We've got my clean clothes. We've got leggings. Oh, now they are tights. Everyone needs a pair of tights in a panto. Some socks, that sort of thing. That's my mic, look. Comes in a nice box. Now it, that's Prince's in character, not the pop star. Um, I've got cards around here to make myself feel at home. And this, look, whoa, that's going on eBay as soon as we finish, as well as my crown, which I'll be um, sending off to cash for gold. And over here, we have my costumes. Now, these are some incredible costumes, don't you think? There's my purple one. Whoa, look at that, burgundy. Now that, that will be worn on a night out in Windsor at some point, and I'm sure will go down really well. In the process of getting ready, and I just wanted to show you one more thing about my costume. Look at these, woo! I know you're jealous. I'm all ready, check me out, woo! Swishy, swish, well, swishing the camera so you can't see. Swishy, it's quite hard to swish and... Anyway, let's leave the room and see what's out here. Bang! Look at those costumes. I mean, I don't know what that is. It's like someone's left their skin behind. Um, so, going to wardrobe. Turn the monster down because it's incredibly loud. Uh, wardrobe's one of my favorite places on earth because it's so unbelievably random. For instance, I've just spotted answers on a postcard. What is that? What should we call him, actually? If you could all just send in your suggestions for a name for the crustacean. Uh, so we're out in the corridors now, getting nearer to the entrance of the prince. I know. Should, should we do that again? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's alright, it's alright. Sure? Come on in, come on in. This is Lauren Lane. Hello. When you say Lauren's name, you have to say her full name, Lauren Lane, so that people remember who she is. Um, how are you, Lauren? I'm alright, I'm a bit ill. Uh oh. But, um, yeah, alright. Is that why you were singing the way you were? <laughs> yeah! Yeah. <I'm> right. <laughs> is your costumes, Lauren? Mm hmm. My costume? Marvellous. Do you have a favourite? Um, my meringue dress. Meringue dress. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, it's like a salmon -y colour. Yeah. Okay, Lauren, I'm going to go because we need to be on stage soon. See you on there. Bye. Right, that's it for my takeover because I've got to go and be on stage for the last, like, seven minutes of Act One. It's exhausting. As you can imagine, I must become Prince Edgar of Italia. But it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. So I uh, hope to see you in the audience at some point. Bye. Oh, what that fantastic. Thank you, David. We love him, don't we? Yeah, we we do. Do. He's a nice lad. We like him. Right, so today, everybody, I know you've been waiting for it. The challenges are here. Em, <laughs> let's go for it. I like my one it's this a week. Good yeah, one. It's a good, good one. one. Is it edible? We're yeah. still alive. Yes. We've Last week was edible. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, last week's was better than I'd done earlier in the week. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. We never tried that. Right, one. Here we go. I did. The box is opening, everyone. Ooh. This week, Ooh. I've done coconut ice. Oh, oh. Look. coconut ice. Kim, you've gone all out this week. I know. Right, go on, get yourselves get get, get a little. Oh, um. It's good, isn't it? Mm. You've outdone yourself. I <laughs> know, oh, right? You've made up for last week. Mm. Right, so tell all our lovely two people in Carly's mum how you made this. Mm. Ice and sugar and sweet condensed milk mixed together. Add some co uh, desiccated. desiccated coconut. Swallow, love. Mix it all together. <laughs> Don't with, stop. With, um, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> and food colouring is optional. <laughs> and let's get back in there now. <laughs> um, do you know what I'm going to do? What? Have another piece. I'm going to have a second piece. 
that made up for last week. That's absolutely delicious. Can you get the tea? Do you know what? I might even get you to make a load for home for Christmas. Well, you can make some. Yeah, I'll buy it off you. I can do that. Yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> She'll charge me 100 quid. Yeah, that is lovely. Mm. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Well done. Great thing. Okay. I'm really excited about this. This, week. this is, let me just mention it. Yeah. Ages throw back. <laughs> Sorry. Swallow. Ages throw back. <laughs> Don't stop. You just say swallow. <laughs> Eighties <laughs> throwback something or another. Yes, memorabilia. Memorabilia. Do you, you remember? Ow. Oh, what is that? Oh, we oh. knew that. It's Alf. Oh my. Very God. precious with Alf. Look. What is he? An alien. Alien life form. Oh. Okay. Alf. They called oh. him Alf. He landed in their garden, and they looked after him. Uh, yes. What was the? So it was the American TV. American TV program. I'm gonna have to look on YouTube yeah. now. And he was a, he was a, he was a little alien. Oh, I love Alf. They had to disguise him if anybody came to the house. Because obviously. That's right. Yeah. You're supposed to have an alien living in your house. Now, who was the um, who who were in the sitcom? Do you remember? Oh, people. <laughs> I never remember names. I remember like cute furry things. So who's so this is your fellas? Yes. <gasps> That's there wonderful. We well done. Well done, Ruth. Yay. Like that. Bit of 80s throwback. Love it. Right. Now listen, before we start here. <laughs> last week's story went on for about 45 minutes. Yeah. Is this shorter? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Is it happier? So, yes. is it happier? It's happier. Yeah. Right. It's only one piece of paper. Get settled in everyone. It's time for story time. Do I need to light my candle? No, we're fine. Okay. Are you ready? I am, are you? Let's do it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Santa visits all the children in the world every Christmas Eve to deliver their Christmas presents. A team of magical flying reindeer live at the North Pole with Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, and the Christmas elves. Mrs. Claus gave each of the reindeer a name. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Donna, and Blitzen. But there was another reindeer, and his name was Rudolph. Oh, yeah. But Rudolph was always left out because he had a bright red glowing nose. Rudolph was never allowed to pull Santa's sleigh on Christmas Eve. He always was left at the North Pole with the elves. Oh. The other reindeers laughed at Rudolph and called him names. They never let Rudolph join in their fun and games. Then one Christmas Eve, as Santa filled his sack with toys, <laughs> the sky turned dark and became very foggy. It was so foggy that Santa could not be able to find his way to deliver the Christmas presents to the children of the world. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer came to the rescue with a great idea. Oh. His nose was so bright that he could act as a light to guide Santa in his sleigh. There you go. Rudolph the reindeer became the hero of Christmas. The other reindeer never laughed at Rudolph or called him names ever again, and he helped Santa deliver all the Christmas presents every year. Yay! Ah, what a lovely story. Do you know what? We all know that story, but it's nice sometimes to actually hear it, isn't it? That's the real story, not the lyrics for the song. No, I was thinking that at what point you put because I'm singing in a minute. <laughs> that was lovely. Well done. We love that. Annie, joke time. Here we go. Oh. Are we ready? Yeah. What do reindeer hang on their Christmas trees? I don't know. What do reindeer hang on their Christmas trees? Ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> See how these videos oh, take a turn. Thanks for that, um, Annie. <coughs> oh, that's a good one. My mum gave me these jokes. So. Oh, I'm trying to blame your mum now. Yeah. Oh. Yay! Yay! Okay, so I haven't done a non-alcoholic one. Oh. I've done a alcoholic one and then a 
More. More. <laughs> Fine by me. Fine by me. So here is the alcoholic one. Okay. And this is a classic snowball. Classic snowball. So what is a snowball made of? Avocat. Avocat. And lemonade. And lemonade. Yeah. Dead simple, but an absolute Christmas classic. Absolutely. Did you dribble? Yes. <laughs> Just a little bit. Wait. Hang on. So in Avocat is egg and brandy. Basically. So yes. that is basically a glass of egg, brandy, lemonade. Yeah. 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 Yum! <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, it's not though, is it? Egg, brandy, lemonade. It's not though, is it? I still it's think not... they taste like soda floats. Yeah. It's not yeah. that, is it? It's not disgusting, is it? All right. So tell me this then. If you want to make it at home and you yeah. don't want to buy the Avocat, well, you, you have to you brandy, have to proper lemonade, and then what? You crack an egg in it and whip it up. No, eggnog is like egg. Is it cream? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know what goes in it's, it. It's eggnog. Ooh. Eggnog. Try the next one. Because this one is called Neil's Festive Tipple. Oh. Neil's Festive Tipple. It looks very similar to the last one. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's got an added Neil extra. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Ooh. I don't know what that I is. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, can't I drink out of straws anymore? <laughs> Is it good? Good luck with tonight's show. <laughs> Just to make a mocktail version of this. Egg and lemonade. I don't think that'd be very nice. <laughs> That's oh, why no. I didn't do it. So basically a mocktail version would be egg and... Egg, egg. egg and... Egg and mayonnaise. Egg and mayonnaise. Well, no, I Could think... Could have mayonnaise think, and lemonade, why not? Let's be honest. This was the first alcoholic drink I had as a child <laughs> yes. that my parents allowed me to have at Christmas. Oh, yeah. Snowball. Yes, that's right, actually. So, right, so this is it neatly. I haven't had this in years, you know. Oh, that's it. It needs to be sipped neat with ice. Like Bailey's? Like Bailey's. Is everyone having a shot of it there? <laughs> is that what you're going to have after the next show? You can taste the egg in it, you know. Yeah, you um, can. I think you can in the, in the stronger one. No, I couldn't. I can't. <laughs> drink off Can you not? <laughs> You're gonna have to dress me, so you need to finish that. I know. <laughs> that's why I'm finishing it. <laughs> that and way, she's if finishing I get it, so you better finish that. Yeah, yeah. you better have the bottle. <laughs> well, if I get hit in the face, I'll be numb. So yes. It doesn't matter. Well, do you know what? I think that was a very successful was today. Successful, it was. Round of applause to Alicia. Yay. And actually, next Sunday. Oh, hang on a minute. Next Sunday. Oh, Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. <gasps> what could you? We've got a Christmas Day special. Oh, special. We've been given a Christmas Day special. Yeah. Well, we haven't been given it. I've given it. But, yeah, uh, you've named it. Ooh. Christmas Day what are we going to do on our Christmas Day special? I think you should make us a roast dinner. We could eat dinner. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Some turkey and pigs and blankets. <coughs> oh, Ooh, we like pigs. Oh, yeah, we, we do like pigs. Maybe. What? You want me to make you a roast dinner? You can come yeah, yeah. to the show. Just bring it back. <laughs> yeah. And then we can sit here and eat our Christmas dinner. For hey, time. how about I challenge myself? <laughs> how about my challenge is yeah. to make a roast dinner yeah. in a volavon? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Will it be warm? So our Christmas episode Christmas dinner will have volavon. some... Yeah. Um, party food. Party food. Yeah, that you're going to make. And I'll make it, yeah. and the challenge is to make a Christmas dinner in a volavon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yes. I'm going to bring that in next week. Yeah. Excellent. Nice. For our special party. For our special Fabulous. Christmas Day episode. <laughs> Some point you probably should think about the panto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. That's lovely. See you next time on Christmas Day.